All right, guys, welcome back to Allison Custom. Kind of back on this project, I was going to run it into the powder coaters today, but I really don't like how the, the back hangers came out. Um, they're, they're just not right. So I'm going to cut them all loose. Also, the brace I made the, to pull the sides back in and hold it all together, it kind of interferes with, with one of the drawers sliding in as well. So my current plan is I'm going to cut that out, cut all these back catches or holders off, and just just be a little neater about how I do it. Um, I'm going to use a piece of angle or a piece of strap to go from side to side across here and just clamp that to it so that as I weld them, they're, they're staying straight and it's staying perfectly in line. Because again, I, I used my jig that I used to put these on, but there's enough variation in there that they're, it's just off, um, just enough to, to not be as good as it should be. So, you know, that's part of the project, as part of learning. Do something, you know, like how it comes out, change it. It's not that, uh, you know, it takes a little time, but it's not that big a deal. So in this part, I'm just cutting loose the braces that I'd welded on the back, and then I cut out the brace that I used to kind of uh, square up the sides again uh, and then I come in here with a new piece of angle iron here in just a moment and make a new back brace for the center and that straightens up those sides again as well as gives me a one of the shelves for the for the back of the boxes and now what I'm just what I'm using here is just a piece of angle iron and I clamp my little back braces onto it and then set it on the side angle irons so that everything kind of lines up and it worked much better than my old method and then here I add, I'm just adding a second tack weld to each one of those back braces and with that done it's basically ready to go to the powder coat. So now the rack is back from powder coat and I had already drilled holes but they weren't quite sized right so I had to open those up especially now with powder coat in them and then I had to tap all of them so that took a few minutes and then next up was to get the uh, casters bolted on and this is just uh, quarter 20 Phillips head type pan head bolts with uh, lock washers and my next plan was to go ahead and get my top on here I used a piece of half inch uh, birch plywood that I then put some banding on and a little bit of stain and I just drilled all the way through the square tubing and up into the plywood to get my screws started and then just clamped everything in place here. This project came out really nice. I'm going to enjoy it in my shop. If you guys liked this one and the desk organizers, please leave me a thumbs up. Let me know what you liked in the comments and what else you might want to see. Uh, like and subscribe. Here we're going to go ahead and get the uh, boxes loaded in and then we'll push back with the camera and so you can get a nice overview of the whole project. Thanks again, we'll see you soon. You guys, welcome back for an update. Um, cart's done, got it powder coated, and uh, went and picked up some extra boxes, but it's, they, were, they didn't have enough, so I've got two more slots I can fill here. Um, I just took a piece of plywood, threw a little banding on it to hide the edges, and then stained it. Um, just some leftover stain I had laying around. But uh, it came out really nice wheels so you can roll around if you need to. At a minimum I'm going to be, make it nice for moving uh, to its final location. Um, but the, the nice thing is you can roll it to a workstation if you were needing it. Um, all I got left really is I'll make uh, some labels for the front of the box or take a silver marker, maybe a silver sharpie or something and, and write on the front the, um, and then I ended up deciding I probably won't extend this at all. Um, if I decided I needed more, I would just make another one. Because one thing I like is you can set the box up here and then you can work it off of it. It basically gives you a little workstation. Um, so I like that little added feature. Um, of course, if I had thought of that earlier, I probably would have made this closer to this height just so that. Uh, so that this would be a little more my height uh, for working off of. But it gives it a great place to set it. I've seen some where they've used um, drawer sliders and basically made all of these uh, drawers uh, 
just basically a shelf that this would sit on and then could slide out and you could work off of it right there. But that would have added, shoot, um, probably $10 per pair of sliders times 20. So that would have added $200 to the cost. So I think setting it on top and maybe, like I said, making it just a little shorter to make you know full advantage of that would be the better option. So anyway, I just wanted to show you the update that I've finished on this. Um, I also got back the little desk organizers, so I'll grab those, show you what's, uh, how they came out. So here are the desk organizer pin holders, whatever you want to call them. So, nice powder coated finish. Went with the same color for both of these. Kind of a gunmetal gray, a little more silver or something in it. Uh, and then what I'm going to do just like, cause like my desktop is glass. Um, so what I think I'm going to do is take a little bit of this moleskin felt that, that I use for windows and I'm going to cut some squares out of it. And just put a square on each corner on the bottom just to uh, hold the thing and, or, you know, keep it from scratching anything. That's it. I think they came out really nice. I thought the wells would have a little more detail to them, so I'd spent some extra time, you know, trying to, to get a nice weld on most of them, but the powder coat's thick enough, it kind of buried that, so. But that's not the important part. It was a great little project, and put one on my desk, probably one out in the shop, and I don't know what I'll do with the other yet, but <laughs> um, y'all take care. Have a great day, we'll see you soon. Thanks for watching Allison Customs Project Car TV. Like us on Facebook and check us out at allisoncustomsonline.com.